Hey guys, uh, I just want to talk about this whole Dwayne Johnson retraction of his support for Joe Rogan. Okay, it's been a very, very, very busy news weekend, but let's talk about this. Um, Dwayne Johnson uh, is it, non-political, right? Well, he's not non-political, but the guy is wishy-washy on his politics. Like, he, he, he's said before that he either votes Republican or Democrat or Independent, depending on who the politician is. But it just seems to me, it just seems to me like it's wishy-washy when somebody does something like what he did. Like, you know, his his tweet was to Joe Rogan in support was, uh, you know, he, he supported, he tweeted his full support for Joe Rogan uh, a couple of days ago, earlier this week. But since this whole video with Joe Rogan's N-word usage came out, he is backtracking on that quite a bit. And he's no longer supporting Joe Rogan. Um, in any sense, I think, in any sense. But, you know, it. he has the right to do that. But in Hollywood, apparently you have no friends in Hollywood, all right? Um, I, I didn't put out a video on whether Joe, what Joe Rogan said in his whole apology video. Um, did not put out a video on that yet, but I'm probably going to put out a video on that. Uh, basically, I don't really care. Uh, that whole N-word thing uh, is a thing because the media made it a thing. All right. So the F-word people use all the time uh, for against gays. The C-word people use all the time against Asians. The S-word people use all the time for Latinos. All right. And nobody makes that big of a deal about this. Nobody makes that big of a deal about this. But, you know, over the last, I would say, 25 years. And I've always said over the last 25 years because that's when the big changes happened. 25 years ago, around 1995 is when it started changing up. You know, uh, blacks and hip-hop started getting into the media. They started changing up this and that and this and that. You know, oversensitivity of things. Which I don't mind if there's an oversensitivity towards other minorities, but there, there's no oversensitivity of of uh, of other minorities consideration for other minorities when it comes to bias, prejudicial um, um, statements done by black people towards other minorities. Uh, or not just blacks, but Jews in the media, whites in the media, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, there's no fair playing field as far as this whole, uh, you know, N word is concerned versus the F word for versus the C word for Asians. Versus there's no fair playing field. I mean, it's it's not on a fair playing field as far as the consequences are concerned. That's my only issue with Joe Rogan using the N-word. I couldn't care less about the N-word. I'm not program conditioned like so many of you people are for apologizing for using the N-word. Joe Rogan has said that he would never, like no white person should ever use the N-word in any capacity. And I'm like, so basically if some black person went all racial on you, called you a, a cracker, called you any kind of racially insensitive remark that's based on race, you don't have the right to call them the N-word, right? I mean, here's the thing. I've had situations where some black lady caught me an absolutely racist term, and I did use the N-word on her. her called her an ape, caught her a monkey, caught her. Um, every single racist thing that I could think of, and, and I'm not going to apologize for that. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna back up on back off on that. I'm not gonna apologize for that, right? Here's my here's my viewpoint on this. All right, nobody should be thrown out 
any kind of racist thing towards anybody, okay? Whoever it is that starts throwing out the racist words, the other person has every right to go absolutely ballistically racist on you. They have the ability, they have the right to nuke you. It's like if you sucker punch somebody, you should have the right to defend yourself and punch them back, all right? So, yeah. Yeah, I in, in cases you're allowed to use the N-word, like in cases you're allowed to use any other racist term if somebody decides to go all racist on you. I'm not following Joe Rogan's narrative. I'm not following Joe Rogan's apology. I'm not following Joe Rogan's anything. I'm not following even the black narrative on the N-word. I couldn't care less. All right, I've never personally gone out and used the n-word in conversational purposes just to degrade black people but if you come after me on a racist level uh you're giving me every right to use the n-word to call you anything i could possibly think of to defend myself and that is a fact so fuck joe rogan on his apology f all you people who apologize for 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 this crap all right Joe Rogan, uh, this is morphing into a Joe Rogan video because I really don't have much to say about um, The Rock except with how it comes off. It comes off wishy-washy. It comes off like he doesn't have a stance. It comes off like, you know, he'll, he'll, he'll turn directions whenever he needs to turn directions. So, but that's, that's Hollywood in any case. That's how Hollywood works in many cases okay you really don't have friends in the industry you don't have friends in the industry who will stick with you you don't have friends who in the industry who are your real friends that's the problem all right um Dwayne Johnson has the right to do what he does but it just comes off wishy-washy all right so basically yeah but as far as Joe Rogan is concerned um he's used the n-word uh in his podcast stating the n-word or repeating the n-word in various lyrics or, or or stories or words but he didn't use it against somebody so i mean he, he that's excusable let me see it's that excusable because i think he probably if you look back he'll probably he's probably used the c word the f word all those words okay if you're gonna come after him for using the n-word you should probably come after him for using all those words Right, you should probably come after him for using all those words, but they don't. The only apparently only the N word is important. Apparently, that's the only thing that's important is the N word to to people like that. Like black people are important. You're not important. You're not any more important than 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 gay minorities, Latino minorities, uh, women as minorities. Anybody as minorities, you're not imp as important as anybody else's minorities. But apparently, in the world where, where we live in, you get you're getting this whole uh, you're cutting the line as far as the whole victimization totem pole is concerned, which I am absolutely against. All right, I am absolutely against. If you're gonna make a fight for all for 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 justice for people, you make a fight for justice for everybody. You don't just make a ju fight for justice for just some people, but. Uh, I'm getting off track here. Um, let me just talk about Joe Rogan's use of... I think he made a statement somewhere where, where he was in the hood or whatever. And he said, you know, he was uh, some comparison to Planet of the Apes. And he said, Planet of the Apes, you know, we're in the hood. Look at where we are or something like that. So it was like um, an allegory of Planet of the Apes to the hoods. Here's the thing. All right. Um, if you guys have ever been in the hood... If any of these people who are criticizing Joe Rogan for making that statement have ever been in the hood, um, bro, bro, that's a correct allegory in most parts. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if that offends a lot of people, but the amount of crime, the amount of absolute anarchy, the amount of just, you know, I understand that people... Um, Let's be honest, hoods, regardless of who the black, white, Asian, Latinos, it's the planet of the apes out there, guys. All right, I just read a story where some drug hood 
in Mexico, they laid out 10 bodies in the streets. All right. That's the plan of the apes. So, if, you know, so if, if I can say that that's the plan of the apes, <laughs> I could definitely say that those black hoods are plan of the apes. So these people, okay, crime is rampant in those hoods. All these white people like Neil Young, like Joni Mitchell, like... Or like even the black one, like Indian Ari, the, all these people, all these people live in lily white neighborhoods that don't have to come in contact with all the crime and the crime of these black hoods. And and when they, when they're making when when they're taking sides, they're taking sides for like that one black cashier that they see at the Whole Foods. Which is not what this whole narrative about. We're talking about the real shit. In the hood shit. Even black people got to admit. I've even heard black people say this is a zoo. I've, I've heard people who actually live in the hood say this is a zoo. This is planet of the apes. Even they say that. Alright so I'm going to give a pass on that. And Joe Rogan should not have apologized. It is. It comes off weak. It comes off just absolutely backpedaling. Joe Rogan, what are you doing? Just rationalize this, all right? If you're going to put out a statement on this, rationalize this. Do not apologize. So at this point, Joe Rogan has stick, taken steps back for not just himself, but but the truth movement, the entire, the truth movement. I call it the truth movement because it's real non-PC. Joe Rogan was as non-PC as you could get. He, he puts everybody on his show, whether they're black, Asians. I wish he would put more Asians and Latinos on his show versus just white and black. But he seems to be, the, the word is based. But when people say based, they don't, they don't include everybody but Joe Rogan is within the parameters of being based but but at this point it seems to me like he's losing ground which is sad okay like you always double down on situations like this because if you're on the right if you're on the right you should Say your truth and the facts will set you free. Unfortunately for Joe Rogan, he's backpedaling. All right. You got to have like a logical mind for stuff like this. You really have to have a logical mind for stuff like this. And essentially, if this was a fight, uh, Joe Rogan is pretty much backpedaling um, uh, on his emotions at this point, which is which is a fight, which is. One of the things you don't do in a fight because if you go on your emotions, chances are you're not thinking logically. You're not doing your punches. You're not, you know, you're not observing the fight on a logical level, and chances are you're gonna lose. You're gonna lose everything, Joe. What are you doing, Joe?